Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Jeff, I slept great last night because of the rain, I guess. <laughs> it did help. Yeah. Uh, and uh, coming up in the 430 half hour, we'll talk about how much rain fell and okay. about what we were expecting. So it is going to help with the drought situation. I'll also show you the latest info on that coming up at 430 as well. But we are beyond that. Now That's looking good. forward to the weekend. And for those of you that want a sustained cool down, We've got that on the way, but we're still going to have to wait about a week or so before that happens. Upper little pattern is showing a pattern change heading into next week. We're going to get a strong trough of low pressure that is going to develop across the middle and eastern part of the country. And we are going to feel the impacts from that here in the Tennessee Valley. Some more rain will come with it. I don't think that will necessarily be the bigger story. Uh, we'll more be focused on the coldest air of the season that will be arriving with this change in the weather. And again, this will be arriving next week. Look for the change to happen middle to latter part of the week. So about a week out from now, uh, it's going to be a whole lot different and certainly as to how it is going to feel compared to what we got coming up for the weekend. Now, in general, yes, weather's going to be very nice Saturday, Sunday. A few patches of clouds both days. No rains expected. Temperatures will be still warmer than average as they have been so far most of the month. We'll be in the upper 60s on Saturday and likely back into the 70s for highs on Sunday, which is what we'll continue to see for the first couple of days next week before that change in the weather comes again around midweek or so. Uh, back to dry weather here. Way 31 triple Doppler after again needed rainfall came through overnight last night. Some of that was heavy at times and the wind has died down as well. So much calmer conditions out there this afternoon. Some patches of clouds around for the moment. We will see some clearing take place through the evening hours, but then later tonight into tomorrow morning, one of the things we're going to have to watch for, I think, could be some patches of fog that develop, perhaps locally dense, especially in some of those sheltered mountain valleys here across the northeast corner of the state. So that may be the only weather issue that we have out the door on your Friday morning. That and, of course, a chilly start to the day as temperatures will cool off steadily this evening and tonight. After that early day fog, though, we are back to partly the mostly sunny skies around the noon hour tomorrow, and we'll keep it mostly sunny heading into your Friday evening. High school football games should not have any sort of weather issues heading into your Friday evening plans. We headed to Saturday morning. Once again, some areas of low cloud or fog could develop, but then we will break that up to at least a partly sunny sky heading into your Saturday afternoon, and I'm expecting very similar conditions coming up for Sunday. Tonight into tomorrow morning, it is going to cool down. You'll want a jacket out the door. First thing on your Friday is we'll all be in the 40s stepping out. 46 in Scottsboro tonight, Gunnersville 44, down to 47 in Huntsville, 44 in Muscle Shoals, around 43 degrees in Moulton. From there, though, should get a nice warm up as we take you through the day. Here's a breakdown of it from the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. Again, those temperatures in the 40s early and then climbing into the 50s as we start the commute and work our way through the remainder of the morning by the lunch hour tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny, right around the 60 degree mark. And tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will be right about average for this time of year, hitting the low in the mid 60s before we begin that drop back through the 50s after the sun sets tomorrow evening. Expected highs include 64 in Huntsville, around 63 in Decatur, 64 in Muscle Shoals tomorrow, Scottsboro 61, and Fort Payne also hitting that mid 60 degree mark tomorrow afternoon. Here's your Wake 31 Storm Tracker 10 day, not only looking at that warm up over the weekend, but the forecast will stay quiet. Mornings will be chilly in the 40s. That's expected this time of year. Afternoons, though, a little bit warmer than our average. Back above 70 on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, likely keeping those 70-degree readings. And then we have that change in the weather coming Tuesday into Wednesday. Some rain will likely accompany that. And then those temperatures will start falling off by the end of next week. We're talking highs that will only be in the low 50s. Overnight lows running down into the 30s. Still the possibility we may get a first freeze in some areas. We're keeping temperatures up just a little bit at this point in time, but that could certainly change between now and the end of next week. The only thing that may keep us from hitting that freezing mark is uh, with the pattern in play, we may have a lot of cloud cover that acts as just enough of a blanket to keep us from getting that cold, but definitely a chill in the air late next week. Well, it wouldn't be the worst thing to miss the freeze, right? Well, uh, yeah, because <laughs> I, I know some people, and I've even uh, heard from some people still getting vegetables out of their garden just oh, because wow, of how mild nice. it's been for the fall season. But that we know will come to an end sometime Eventually, in the near future. Right? Yep. All right. Thanks so much, Chad. Uh -huh. well,